to Python for DSP. So I'm introducing you to Python just for, for using for DSP, so that's a whole Python dialect. So Python is a programming language with a scripting language. And in the simplest case, if you, uh, if you have installed it, you can just type in Python just in your terminal. doesn't matter if it's Windows, Linux or, or Mac and you see here this Python console here. And so, so therefore, just to show you the classical thing, what we do with any programming language when we start, um, we just we just type in print and, um, and then in this here, hello world. So the classical hello world program here. And we press enter um, and we see there's hello world coming up. Okay, so that works. So we see Python is a scripting language. So we just type in a command and it's instantly executed. There's no compilation happening. Um, and so so it, it's directly showing up here. So doing this in the um, command line directly is usually not done and um, you're usually using something something a bit more more comfortable and that's the that's a um, development environment. So let's just close this close this here and um, let's just move over here spider so spider spider is a is a development environment for python yeah so here Py spider python 36 and um in 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 that here let's just clear that here so in in that here now we can also type in the same the same commands here so if i if i type in here again print hello Hello world. Then this also prints us prints us out here. Hello world. So let's just let's just recap this here. So how can we how to run Python? And so there are two options. Or maybe three, but the first option is um, the so-called command line or console. Command line or or the Python console. So we just type in commands and they're instantly executed. So that's very good for testing. So we can test out commands and just type them in and see see if they work. So let's see here if we if we bring this here back to our that's our console here, our Python console. So here that's the what's called console. And so if I so if I type in here, let's say I'm I'm writing print something like this, misspell, and I type in hello world again, so, um, something like that. Then we see here we're getting an error message. So print is not defined. And so we can just press the arrow key up and um, correct this. And so in this way, it's obviously very nice and easy to, to play around with commands, see if they work and um, test them out. But Obviously, we don't want to type in these commands all the time. So we'd like to collect these commands and that they're executed one by one. And so there's a there's a second option. And um, that's that we are creating a script. So script means these commands, they reside in a file. So the commands are executed, executed one by one in a file or in numerous files. Yes, yeah, coming back to that. So the, these commands are executed one by one in a file. And so we can simulate this not simulate, we can actually do it here in the spider console. 
And so here on the on the left, there's a file called tempu, and that's here just in my home directory here, um, sitting there. We could also call it a better name, um, just like the file, new file, untitled here. And let's say we save this as hello world. So now we have here this hello world.py file. And um, yeah, so now we can do the same thing in here, print hello, hello world, like that. Just pressing enter here. And uh, so let's, let's just, let's just save it. And, and now I can, I can, I can run this, this hello world here just by, by using the play button. And now we see here on the, on the other side of the window in the console, it says here run file, hello world, PI, um, and we see a hello world. So the output. So if we, if we change this file here, um, put some exclamation marks behind that, and we're getting hello world exclamation mark. And so the trick is now, now I can add, add more, more commands here in this line. Let's say, let's do some simple arithmetic. And um, and we we run we are, we run this here. Then we see here hello world is executed, and then here the arithmetic is executed. So we see Python is just executing these commands here one by um, one by one. And obviously again, if we are doing here some some mistake here, then um, then hopefully this will also gives us an error, and we need to correct this. Yeah, so now we're getting a lengthy error message here that says command here print y y is not defined. And the the um, anaconda or the spider environment here also gives us already here an exclamation mark and telling us that there must be a bug somewhere. Okay, so let's fix this. And um, let's see. Yeah, so this gives us the output again. And so so we've got here the two options so we can directly type in something in the in the command line or we can run a script so this this script is just simply simply a text file so um, so we see here so once we've finished developing this here then this python file here is just in this in this directory here so users bp1 hello world And so therefore, so if we are lucky, and I, and I do directory here, then then it should it should be should be a hello world file somewhere in it here. Yeah, yeah, we see it here, hello world.py. So if we want to start that just from the Windows con console, we can also do this again, and we just we just write Python and then hello world.py. Yeah, so now we see here these three commands are executed here and printed out. So we don't need to have this full development environment. We can also directly type this type this here out just by typing in Python.